okay now the set of 30 questions the topic covered are transistor as a switch multi stage amplifier and feedback circuits negative and positive feedbacks question number 1 when negative voltage feedback is applied to an amplifier its voltage gain is reduced when voltage feedback is applied to an amplifier its input impedance is increased this is the voltage feedback amplifier when current feedback negative is applied to an amplifier its input impedance is decreased a radio receiver has more than one stage of amplification example is fm radio receiver has more than one stage of amplification rc coupling is used for voltage amplification and this is the rc coupled amplifier where capacitor is used between output and input of two amplifiers transformer coupling is used for power amplification and this is the transformer coupling and here is the transformer used for coupling between two transistors the noise sector of an ideal amplifier expressed in decibel is zero ideal amplifier has zero noise sector when a multi stage amplifier is to amplify dc signal then one must use direct coupling and this is the direct coupling where there is no inductor or capacitor anything is used between coupling between two transistors transformer coupling provides the maximum voltage gain and here is the transformer coupling circuit diagram in practice voltage gain in is expressed in in decibel the final stage of a multi stage amplifier uses transformer coupling the ear is not sensitive to frequency distortion and what is frequency distortion in electronics a distortion in which the relative magnitude of different frequencies component of a wave are changed during transmission or amplification also known as amplitude distortion or amplitude frequency distortion question number 13 in transistor amplifier we use step down transformer or impedance matching one decibel corresponds to 26% change in power level one decibel corresponds to 40% change in voltage or current level the total gain of multi stage amplifier is less than the product of the gain of individual stages due to loading effect of the next stage if the power level level of an amplifier reduces to half the decibel gain will fall by 3 decibel and this is the most important question here is the number of bells is equal to log 10 power output power upon input power p2 upon p1 now decibel number of decibel is equal to 10 times number of bells that is formula is 10 times log 10 p2 upon p1 the number of stages that can be directly coupled is limited because changes in temperature cause thermal instability of transistor or amplifier the bandwidth of a single stage amplifier is more than that of the multi stage amplifier means the bandwidth decreases as we use number of amplifiers and what is bandwidth bandwidth of an amplifier is the range of frequency at the limits of which its voltage gain falls by 3 decibel from the maximum the value of negative feedback fraction is always less than 1 the gain of an amplifier without feedback is 100 decibel if a negative feedback of 3 decibel is applied the gain of the amplifier will become 97 decibel because 
when we express the gain of the amplifier in decibel overall gain is the sum of the individuals the gain of an of an amplifier with feedback is known as closed loop voltage gain oh sorry closed loop gain meter follower is used for impedance matching and these are the characteristics for a meter follower circuit the voltage gain of the meter follower circuit is uh, no voltage gain current gain is high power gain is medium input phase relationship is zero no phase in input and output characteristics input resistance is very high and output uh, resistance is very low and this is the meter follower circuit the voltage gain of an m emitter follower is approximately equal to 1 emitter follower is a current feedback circuit when a negative voltage feedback is applied to an amplifier its bandwidth is increased an emitter follower has high input impedance the output impedance of the emitter follower is low meter follower is used for impedance matching and this is the important question now the question for you is the gain of an amplifier is expressed in decibel because it is a simple unit because calculations become easy because human ear response is, is logarithmic and none of the above please comment your answer